Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing good. So let's get started styling one white shirt in many ways. So here I'm styling it with a white jeans and blazer. So I'm tucking only the front of the shirt and wearing the blazer. For the sleeves, I'm making sure to keep the balance. I am rolling up the cuff over the sleeve of the blazer. And here we are. So for the next look, I'm using a spaghetti top over the whole white outfit and you are done. So for the next, I'm styling it with black jeans and check shirt. So here to make the shirt look like a top, I'm turning the collar inwards which will give a very clean look in the front of the neck like a v-neck. Wearing the check shirt and making sure to style the hem of the shirt. I'm doing the same thing with the sleeve so that it looks even and we are done. And for the next look, I'm using a simple full sleeve t-shirt. This look is just so simple, old school, but yet the best. You can literally throw any kind of t-shirt over your shirt and you're ready to go. So for the next, I'm using full sleeve top belt. I'll be wearing the top first and making sure that the collar is turned inward i'll be wearing half of my shirt while taking the other half of the shirt under my arm and buttoning it up from over the bust where it fits me properly Taking the sleeve straight over the bust and inserting it in the placket of the button where from inside you will be tucking it under your top. So for this process you can also use safety pins to be more secure. Now I'll be styling this whole look with the belt to give it a clean finish. So here I'm rolling over the black sleeve of the top over the cuff of the shirt to give it a balanced look and we are ready. So for the next look I'll be using ripped boyfriend jeans. And I'm just making the hem look uneven so it looks styled and just pulling up the sleeves and you are done. This is such a easy, comfortable, casual outfit. You can style it with sneakers, flats, heels, anything and you're just good to go. And for the next look, I'll be just wearing a sports bra over it and we are done. You can also wear a nice pair of heels under this outfit and it will look great. So here I'm styling with denim shorts, denim shorts. So I'm rolling up my sleeves. I'll be opening some button and styling the hem of the shirt which gives a complete casual look. So here I'm using a t-shirt which I've used previously and I'm just knotting in the front. You can also use your hoodie, you can also use your sweater to style it this way. It's just a simple look. So now you can style it with your denim jacket or your denim shirt. So you can actually wear it but here I'm just keeping over my shoulder and it looks great.
you can also tie it around your waist just like old school and you are good to go with this outfit So for the next look I am wearing palazzo pants and I am wearing the shirt the other way around. You can button up the back but here I have tied two knots to keep it secure. You can always accessorize it with boho jewels and this is such a cute outfit. So the next look I've worn a printed denim jeans with scarf so I have tucked in the collar to give it a nice clean boat neck look and style it with the scarf make sure that you color coordinate it with your printed jeans and the scarf which will make it look really nice and if you're wondering about the denim jeans uh, I it's my DIY I painted it so yeah we are ready to go So here I'm styling with floral goat skirt. I'm tucking in the collar inside to give it a look like a top, unbuttoning and tying a knot at the end, rolling up the sleeve so this will define your body shape with the goat skirt and you can always accessorize it if you have a similar mask, wear it. So next I have paired it with a formal skirt and a scarf. Make sure you wear your skirt a little higher than you actually wear so that the skirt looks like a mini skirt. And uh, here the scarf I've made sure that the width is really thick so that it blends the divided portion of the skirt and the shirt and tie a knot in the front. So for the next look, I'm wearing a spaghetti dress over the shirt, rolling up the sleeves. And this look is such a simple look, but yet looks so good. So the last look is with mini skirt, tee back top and the shirt. The shirt you choose should be of same size and length of the white shirt you have taken. Also the similar fabric will really help to make it look like one. Button one side of the shirt to the other. Wear the shirt as one. And button it in the front make sure you just button two to three and take the both the sleeves put it behind crisscross it and get the two sleeves in the front and button their cuffs to one another and you're just ready with this cool look Do let me know in the comments down below about which look did you like. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.